so <clears throat> I remember as a kid looking for four leaf clovers and only one time in my entire life have I been able to find one. Now I haven't been on the lookout for them for, you know, since I was probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 years old. <clears throat> and ever since then I've wondered about four leaf clovers and never really desired to go and hunt for them, but um, I had this dream that um, I was at my grandparents' house and I was outside and this guy came to the door he was all dressed up in a suit and he had one of those those gold dollar sign chains on and I immediately knew when I saw that that he was looking for money that he was made of money that he was just there to get money <clears throat> And I'm standing on the side of the house, and I could hear him walk up to the door. And my grandparents' outer door, it isn't a screen door. It's really old. You know, it's, it's old. But it makes a very unique sound. And, of course, he knocked on the door, and I heard that sound. And I crouched down in the bushes so that I could listen to what was going on. My grandma came to the door, and he said, um, There's a new tax. <clears throat> that was just put through today you have to come up with fifty thousand dollars to pay or we'll take your house of course my grandparents house is paid off my grandma was like uh, you know, that's wrong we're, we're retired we're not working anymore we don't have that kind of money and he said well and he he was scribbling down something whatever it was and he you know ripped it and said you've got thirty days to come up with the money or else we take your house and he started to, to, to walk away and I noticed he had a briefcase with him <clears throat> and I knew that he had money in that briefcase for some reason so as he walked away um, I went up to my grandma and she was crying of course and I said you know I said, no, you guys don't have the money, but I'll get you the money. Just don't worry about it. I'll figure out a way. And at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I went around back, and I'm sitting on the back porch. I'm just kind of looking out. And <clears throat> I could see off into the distance these plants. They were much larger than what you normally see, but they were, they were clovers. None of them were four-leaf clovers, but I could see them just kind of waving in the wind. And I just I thought to myself, <clears throat> you know, if I could catch a four-leaf clover. And then I thought, nah, it's not going to work. Well, I ended up walking down the street next door. <clears throat> and there was a guy sitting there. He was all dressed in black. He had, <clears throat> it looked almost like a ninja outfit. And I walk up to him and I said, you know, I've got this problem. I need to come up with 50 grand in 30 days. What do you think I should do? And he looks at me and he says, you know those clover plants out black? I've never been able to find a four-leaf clover. If you can get me a four-leaf clover, I'll get you the 50 grand. <clears throat> and... So anyway, I, I said, great, you know, I started walking out back and and uh, I told my grandma she was standing out on some mezzanine or something, which isn't a part of their house, but it was there, and she's just kind of doing this, and I said, uh, I'm going to get you the money, don't worry about it, and she just kind of looks at me like, you know, whatever, like, yeah, right. So I'm out back, and... I'm looking through all these plants, this bush on the ground that was all full of clovers. I'm down on my hands and knees, I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I could really use some kind of special tool to um, uh, to find these uh, clovers. 
And I started thinking about this TV ad, which never existed, but it was uh, this guy. It was like the Ronco guy. He was advertising, find your four-leaf clover or whatever. <clears throat> and I got on my phone, and I sent a text message to somebody. I said, I need one of those now, like right now, and I'm willing to pay. And they said, you know, I'm on my way. Well, I'm on my hands and knees still looking. And suddenly they come up behind me, and they've got this little... <clears throat> I, I can't explain exactly what it is, but uh, it had a handle and it had this long bar on the end. And you know, I said, "Here, great." I wrote him out a check. And he, you know, he took off. I'm down there and I'm searching, doing this with beep beep beep. You know, I find one, and uh, I end up looking at it. And I'm, you know, spreading all the other clovers away from it because I didn't want to damage it. And I thought to myself, "How am I going to get this out of the ground <clears throat> without damaging it?" And I went back in the house and I got one of my kids' uh, toy shovels, mini. It was, <clears throat> you know, little, little shovel. And I ended up taking it and I'm scooping it out, you know, really carefully. And I got it out and I'm holding it like this. And it's waving in the wind, which was kind of weird. And I knew that I didn't have much time because it was going to die. So I'm running, you know, with it in my hand next door <clears throat> he's sitting there and he says oh that's great you know you finally found the four leaf clover I could never find uh, and he says uh, go into the garage <clears throat> and there's a briefcase waiting for you in there and uh, so anyway I, I, I go in the garage and I see the briefcase and I see this this gold dollar sign on the side of it and I turn around and I thought to myself how did you get that out of that guy's hands and he just kind of and I reached out and I grabbed the briefcase and I opened it up and it was all money so that was exactly the point that I woke up right at that point it, it always seems like it's right when you become rich and famous bleh, you wake up oh sorry you're not rich and famous <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't know where the four leaf clover thing came up because I haven't thought about four leaf clovers in a long time, but it was uh, just kind of weird how that that showed up like that. And <clears throat> my grandparents' house has been paid off, so I don't know why I would be thinking about that. Although I have, was reading some articles about uh, taxes recently, so that might have something to do with it. Um, <clears throat> I've also been playing this game, which everybody knows about. And uh, that might have something to do with the whole thievery thing. But, you know, that's pretty much it. It's just kind of a weird dream, but good dream. <clears throat>